Mark. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel again. We've got John Kapler with Kapler Architects. John, thank you, sir. Okay, today we're going to talk about stock plans. You see them all of the time. People are glancing through magazines. Heck, they're staying at home at night. They're tired. They're frustrated at their house. They're in bed. They're looking at the 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 menu of options that are out there. Millions and millions. Millions of them. Yeah. Where do, what should they do? How, how should they make this work? Well, George, thanks for having me back today. It's absolutely a pleasure. And this is a great topic to talk about because this is an affordable way to go through the home planning process for a home on your property. So you'd mentioned the word stock home plans. The, they have many names associated with them. Our industry calls them stock home plans. But these are pre-designed home plans that are marketed for sale out to retail clients like you. You can go to the grocery store. There are magazines on the shelves that have house plans in them. You can go to one of a myriad of websites that have home plans for sale. Those home plans gather their plans from hundreds of companies like mine to put my plan on their venue and they market our stuff. They're marketing experts, we're architecture experts, so we utilize them to market product and fulfill orders because that's what they do. So when you're looking at home plans on in magazines or online, right. you're looking at hundreds of different architects, hundreds of different ideas and concepts and ways to put homes together. So it's not just one sort of prescriptive path. And like I said, it's a great affordable way to help get you down the road. And remember, if you find something that's 25, 50, 75 percent of what you want, you can always have a stock home plan customized to meet your needs. Right. right? Because it's it's to help you conceptualize what you would like to have in your home. Right. Right. Okay. Now, we understand that it's very difficult for people, most people, and a majority of most people, to look at a floor plan and really understand it. So reach out to the company to find out on plan number one, two, three. Ask them if they have any photographs of the actual home built. Which They'll is a big send deal. you some photographs, and you can look through the magic of your screen and see what those spaces will feel and look like through the photography of one, two, three, sometimes four homes built of that stock home plan. Right. So right. they're 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 great tools. Now, in understanding when you buy a home plan from. Uh, a home plan design company dot com you might get a house that was designed in Louisiana maybe upstate New York right maybe in South Africa you just don't know it could come from Europe right, right. I really like that plan and it's an architect from Tasmania <laughs> what do I do with that our rules and regulations are different everywhere in the United States let alone the world right and the criteria for structural engineering is different because of winds snow loads earthquakes etc so every plan that you buy from a stock home plan company is going to have to be reviewed by a local professional re-engineered for a particular lot where you want to build it you can't take a lot in Louisiana and drop it right here in wherever you are and have it exactly work. It's got to be reworked a little bit for the planning, the structural engineering, the civil engineering, the drainage, right. all the other consultants that you need. So you're still going to need to put together a consultant team for your particular property. So it's not quite as simple as buying the house, dropping it on the lot, right. but it's a great head start. It is great head start. I think that really at the end of the day, when most folks take a look at, well, at least, you know, clients that we've uh, spoken to, many of which, you know, we've referred to you, they start off with the concept and they have different plans and, they, and they've even, uh, you know, said, hey, you know, I've drawn out, you know, a basic idea. Here's what I want. Does that help you give them better feedback? It, it does. Actually, if somebody can come with five or six home plans that they think are very close to what works for them mm -hmm. and they want to design a custom home for them, just the concept of what 
the room arrangement, the room count, the look of the home is, is very helpful. Because remember, our job as architects is to pull information out of you of what you want. To draw what's in my brain. Absolutely. And the right. more information that we have about what that is through photographs, through plans, through color palette, through pictures of furniture, it all helps. It's all there. It, it all helps us do our job for you much better. Okay. So when somebody is getting ready to head down the path, this journey of I am going to build my home, I want to build my dream home. You talked, uh, uh, you spoke the last time a little bit about the box. <laughs> Tell the folks about the box. What is the box? What should it, what should it contain? And really at the end of the day, how does it best help you and the team? That, uh, you're and you're referring to our dream box, right? The dream our little box. box. All right. Yes. So this is a, a concept I came up with 25 years ago to help you get organized on what it is that you want and convey that to the people helping you design and build what you want and help you keep on track through the process. So the recommendation is to get a banker's box with a lid, just a cardboard banker box, and in it we put three things. The first is a pad of paper or your computer, tablet, and then on each page we put a room that you want in your home. Okay. Great room, kitchen, dining room, garage, accessory garage, mother-in-law apartment, I want a loft that overlooks the downstairs, each page has a room, and on each page, a few bullet items of what we want that room to be. Okay. Let's take, for example, the home office. Now, long ago, home offices used to be right by the front door, and they were the trophy den. Right. That's where you had the fireplace and the big leather chair and the globe in the corner. And the bookshelves. And then guess what? <laughs> we got this thing called a laptop computer or a home computer that sat on the table. It has a printer, and it blew up into a mess. Right. It's the computer. It's actually the printer that makes a home office a mess, okay? <laughs> I believe you. Yeah, yeah. And so now, people don't want the trophy den at the front door anymore. They sort of want it tucked in the back. Out of so the way. So they can close the door and keep the mesh shut because right. it's, it's hard to keep your office clean. However, uh, you need to think about on this list that we're doing, you might want to, if you work home a lot, have the office open up to the kitchen and living area of your home to share more of a space place relationship to make it feel larger then it will not feel like a bedroom that you're officing out of because those are difficult to home office out of a bedroom you want it to be more of an office maybe you want doors that go right out to the back patio so on a nice warm day when you're on the phone you can go sit outside and have a glass of iced tea while you're on the phone right so Making little bullet point items like that is important on this piece of paper because it, it conveys to your professional team of your thoughts. We can interpret those, use our professional experience to give you more information about what ifs on all of those parts and pieces so you can make a better decision for you on your home. Now the second thing we're going to put in the box is several of your favorite magazines or again your computer with your Pinterest or house account with photographs of things you like. Break them down into inside, into outside, into bedrooms, into kitchens. The kitchen could be cabinets versus pots and pans that you like. Just don't worry about how many, don't worry about what order, it's, a, it's whatever you want to do and however you want to organize it. People like me like George, like the other professionals, will fly through those photographs very, very quickly to get your color palette of the things that you like, the right. things that curl your toes and make you warm. So we can regurgitate those. Absolutely. And say, well, this kind of works the way that you want. Right. right? Picture's worth a thousand words. Picture's worth a thousand words. Yep. The third thing that we're going to put in the box, and this is why it's a box, is we're going to start collecting samples of stone, of countertop, of cabinets, getting brochures on toilets, on um, furnaces, all sorts of things. We want to keep that in the box so it's nice and kept together. And then you can dump that on the table and say, this is my house. Including? Here's all the parts and pieces. Your stock plans. Including your plan with all the ideas and arrangements. Right. Because then, at the end of the day, if you truly want to have a, a probably the most effective brain dump is to bring 
everything that you can show of what you want in a home, lay it out for you, and then you can say, here is a concept, or here are concepts. What does this meet what you're looking for? Right. Safe to say? Sa- absolutely safe to say. Right on. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Any parting words for these guys? No, I think when you uh, go through the dream building process and thinking about all the elements of your home that you want to have, have fun with it and uh, feel like you can just go outside your comfort level a little bit because you want to share everything with your design team that's in your head and then they can sort of get you to a point of singularity. That's their job, is to take all these ideas and get them on track and focus them for you. There you go. John, as Good always, my you. friend. Yep. All right. Make sure you subscribe and like the channel. Share this so that other people get to see it. John's information will be on the vetted contractor site, but more importantly, you'll have an opportunity to get the information just below. I will see you guys on the next video. John, thank you again. Yep. And uh, you guys take care. Have a great day.